Hello everyone and welcome to another Toon Boom video. This one is going to be about mixing bitmap and vector artwork. Yes, I know, mind blown, Toon Boom is not just a vector uh, artwork program, it also works in the raster format, so like bitmap. Um, think Photoshop combined with something like Adobe Flash Animate. It, it combines them both beautifully and you can choose which one you have, you've got total control over it. I'm going to talk in this video a little bit about the benefits of using that because there is also something really cool called the Vector Texture Brush, which you might want to use instead, but I'll talk about when you might want either or. I'm going to show you how to create something like this down here. So let's dive in and take a look at how it's all put together. So the first thing you will notice is if I zoom into this little cloud at the back here. We've got a, a finer line drawing and then we've got kind of like a little smoky sort of fume texture there underneath. I've got just one drawing element, one drawing node here with a peg above it. Okay, so this is just one drawing layer which contains both pieces of the artwork. And how that is happening, if we go to the drawing tab, we'll be able to see. So let's zoom in. So the line art layer I've kept as a vector, which means just the normal colors, these tagged colors that where the IDs are matched. So if I was to change the color of the fumes line here, fumes one, this will change every instance of this. They're all linked together. But you can see in the drawing substitution window over here that we actually have a preview and it's got the smoke on. And that's because if I hit this I, it will show all the art layers. On the color art layer, I actually have um, a painted texture and you can see if you watch these tools down the left hand side as I switch between line art and color art some of the tools disappear and that's because I've changed the color art to being a bitmap layer. How do we do that? Well if you click on the yellow box or was to right click on the layer in the timeline and go to layer properties it brings up the same thing and this is basically allowing us under the drawing tab it will allow us to switch from vector to bitmap. You just click one of these radio buttons and it will switch it over. Okay. Now the benefit of this will maybe become apparent in a second. Most of the time in animation productions uh, they'll maybe use something like a pencil and let me just uh, draw a few squiggly lines like this. They'll use this because it's a nice clean line. It's really good for outlines of characters. But if you're painting textures um, you're painting something that's a bit more painterly or you want something that feels uh, a bit more naturalistic. This clean line thing isn't ideal. Think back to the early 2000s and all the sort of web cartoons sort of thing. They often, you know, really struggle with um, anything that feels a bit more naturalistic. It's got a certain style to it. It's quite hard edged. The easy way to do this is to convert a, an art layer into uh, a bitmap layer. Now you'll see when I click the color art layer here, all of a sudden my palette, the color tab changes and I can choose whatever I want. So I have to use the brush here, but I'm just going to show you if I was to make like a bit of a reddish kind of cloud um, and pull it along to this. Now when I choose a brush in the tool properties, I'm just going to go and choose this one, press O to resize it, and you can see it's still creating something quite quite solid there, but I can change those settings. I'm just going to look for a preset that's got some, here we go, brush on cloth. Um, and you can hold down O, resize that. I'm just going to click this arrow here as well and just lower the default transparency. Um, the minimum opacity is all the way up, so I'm going to lower that right down. And that means with my pressure sensitivity of my, my tablet, I'm going to be able to create quite a nice effect. So you can really build this kind of thing up and you can you can shade things so we can just easily tweak the color and the main reason I would say this is beneficial to you is it's a bit more like a mixing palette of actually when you paint you know with real paints versus kind of that idea of constantly having to create new colors and things you can you can use this for background artwork I mean people don't really paint backgrounds in Toon Boom and you can you definitely can. You just work with it as a flat thing and it's really freeing to have something that you don't have to worry about or oh, how am I gonna you know put this thing together. I'm just using a default brush here and you can get a really nice effect. So that's cool and we can put even more sort of like little light bits in there. If you go to the black selection arrow and long click on it 
and then click to the cutter. You'll notice this, if I was to, to chop a bit out, it, it chops it out kind of like as big chunks, okay? This is one of the downsides of this. Like if I was to click on this, this layer, the whole layer is selected as one. If I wanted to move that, I would literally need to use the cutter to move that piece around, and then I've got the option of moving the shape. This is a lot more, you know, basic in terms of how you move things. You can still apply deformers to these bitmap layers, but um, just remember that that's the restriction. So you kind of need a guide for when you're going to start painting and then maybe do that in vector um, on an underlay layer and then turn on this eye so you can paint over it. And that will give you something to, to paint with. But you've got this really nice effect and you can basically create a, a lovely image within Toon Boom and use it like a, a painting package if you want to. Save yourself some money on buying other painting packages. Okay, so I'm going to delete that one for now. Now I want to show you on the, the vector art layer where I've drawn this, this little kind of like spirals of smoke. I want to show you with the brush how you can use the vector texture or the textured vector, whichever way around it is. So if you wanted to use the tagged colors, you can go up to the tool properties and you need to change the tip from being solid vector to textured vector if it's not already the presets have it changed over okay you can adjust this and then from here you have a very similar effect you can go in here you can lower the um, default transparency amount the opacity um, and and make all these adjustments and you can get something that's very very nice as well. The downside to this for me is that, I mean, it's cool because you've got all these these pieces. I've got auto flatten turned on, by the way, which is this A button. If I turn that off, it will remember every single last stroke I do, which I think is crazy, but you might need it um, if you want that ultimate customizable option left out to you. For me, though, the, the biggest downside of this, and it might be the plus it might be the thing you're after but the biggest downside is the fact that you have to have all these tagged colors so say you were just doing that little fiery little um, cloud that I was experimenting with you would have to literally create a new color every time you want to tweak the color to get the same effect and that's a pain you don't have to be clicking here and then going into one of these and then finding the right color and it not being quite right it, it just removes you I think a little bit uh, from the creative part of your brain of just painting and getting stuck into it. So that's for me the benefit of having this really cool option of, of turning on bitmap, um, a bitmap layer and a vector layer and having them combined and being able to combine them into something that looks really nice and, and keeps the cleanness of vector with the textured um, naturalistic approach of bitmap. I hope that video was useful to you and you're excited about to try out some of these features. So if you didn't know Bitmap existed in Toon Boom, then you're welcome, go and enjoy. Just don't go crazy. Remember the file sizes are gonna get quite large quite quickly, so you have to use it for the right application. But for, for an experiment, try and paint, paint a background or a prop or something, and I'm sure you'll find that it's a lot more fun than you thought it was gonna be. Thanks for watching.